I'm Tyler. And I'm Lindsay. And, and this, this is, is going, going for gold. gold. Healthy Health habits. This week we're focusing on understanding our emotions as well as what we can do to help ourselves when our emotions are stopping us from doing the things we want to or need to do. The Zones of Regulations was created to help us understand our emotions so that we can know how to best help ourselves. There are four different colored zones a person can be in. The blue zone, the green zone, the yellow zone, and the red zone. Each zone is made up of a different group of emotions. The blue zone is used to describe someone who is feeling down. When you're in the blue zone, you may feel sad, tired, sick, or bored. The green zone is used to describe when a person is feeling calm. This is the zone that you would always strive to be in. When you're in the green zone, you may feel happy, focused, content, or ready to go. The yellow zone describes someone who is feeling intense emotions, but they still have some control over them. When you are in the yellow zone, you may feel stressed, nervous, excited, or silly. The red zone describes someone who is feeling very intense emotions. When you are in the red zone, you may feel angry, terrified, mean, or out of control. The zones can also be compared to traffic signs. When given a green light or in the green zone, you are good to go. A yellow sign means be aware or take caution, which applies to the yellow zone. A red light or stop sign means stop, and when one is in the red zone, this is often the case. The blue zone can be compared to the rest area signs where one goes to rest or re-energize. All of the zones are natural to experience, and there is no bad zone. We all find ourselves in each of these zones from time to time, and that's okay. When you are in the red, yellow, or blue zone, there are different strategies you can use to get back in the green zone so that you're good to go again. Some strategies can also be used in more than one of the zones. If you are in the red zone, it feels like your emotions are completely out of control. Some strategies to move from the red zone back to the green zone are taking a break, going on a walk, getting a drink of water, or taking deep breaths. If you are in the yellow zone, it doesn't always mean that you need to manage your emotions. It's more important that you consider the place you're in when you feel like you're in the yellow zone. For example, if you're at a basketball game, you may feel silly or excited putting you in the yellow zone, but you may not need to do anything about it because those feelings are expected at a basketball game. However, if you have those emotions at the library where there are different expectations or rules than a basketball game, you may have to manage these feelings of silliness or excitement to make sure they fit the library's expectations. Some strategies to move from the yellow zone back to the green zone are taking a break, listening to music, taking deep breaths, getting a drink of water, stretching, or doing yoga. If you are in the blue zone, it feels like your energy to do things is very low. Some strategies to move from the blue zone back to the green zone are taking a break, thinking of happy thoughts, spending time with people, drawing a picture, or even taking a nap if possible to let your body recharge. All of these strategies are helpful because they give you the power to get back in the green zone on your own so that you can keep doing the things you love to do. Try using these strategies or any others you can think of to see what works best for you. That's all for this week's video. Join us Wednesday live at 11 a.m. on Zoom where we'll be doing a Zones and Emotions Jeopardy. Or catch up with us Friday for our weekly recap. In the meantime, always remember to keep going for gold in all your healthy habits. See you next time.